Well guys, welcome back to The Nest. Um, hope you're enjoying all these these two, well, not all these reviews, these two reviews I've put up, you know, Frankenstein and King Kong. Hope you all had a good Disney Plus day. I love all the stuff they're announcing, all the Marvel series and everything. But we'll come to that someday. And the marathon could be a long while. Tonight, we are going to be reviewing the sequel to the first film I reviewed, Frankenstein from 1931. The film I'm reviewing tonight is Bride of Frankenstein from 1935. Um... <laughs> I gotta say, I kind of enjoyed this one better. I thought it was a bit emotional, um, it was more dramatic. Um, and I had a happy ending this time. For those of you who don't know, it takes place immediately after the first film. Um, it turns out that Frankenstein survived getting burned alive in the windmill. Um, he managed to kill the father of Maria, the wee girl he, he didn't mean to kill. Um, at least he's reunited up there with her. Um, but he's uh, made his way to the city. Um, at least he finally got to find a friend, uh, a blind man. Um, and he learned to speak, which I thought was nice. Because, you know, he was never taught anything. He's, he's got the mind of a child. But he, um, he finally found a friend in that old hermit. But, of course, the townsfolk had to come around it, all because he scared a woman. He was never going to hurt her. Um... But I guess whenever you're a monster, as I've said in the last two reviews, I guess if you're a monster, never mess with them. The thing I also want to know is, how back in 1935 they managed to show small people in a jar? I'm sure the visual effects weren't that good. Well, what I mean is, I'm sure they didn't know how to, obviously they didn't know how to do CGI, because they didn't have computers in the 1930s, obviously, but I'd, I, I'd like to know that. Because, you know, you've got the wee fairy and the wee, in the laboratory. Many people. <laughs> oh no, it's fantastic the way they, they made that. But Henry Frankenstein's mentor has decided to create a female corpse. A bride of Frankenstein. You know, with the big spiky hair and the white stripes along the, on the side of the hair. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, that's the iconic hair. Um... I like how Boris Karloff has come back. I like how they, um, for the bride, they um, put a question mark beside her like they did with Boris Karloff in the first film. I also like how they just made him Karloff as the monster. Fire. Fire bad. <laughs> so yeah, at least he got to speak in this film. Because um, in the first one, he was just like, ah, ah, ah. he's a monster. <laughs> um, also, I'd just like to say... Um, I really love how, um, you know, in the end, that doctor does get his comeuppance in the end. Oh, great, I'm about to run a battery here. The doctor gets his comeuppance in the end, you know, and Frankenstein manages to do something good. He sacrifices himself so his friends may live. You go, I stay, friend. It's all that bride's fault, I guess. But what can you do? She was too scared of him anyway. At least Frankenstein got to hear music before he passed on. Even though it was only set in 1899. <laughs> but what can you do? Um, I, I will agree this one was a lot better than the first one. Um, it was the same length. Same length but at least more happened. You know, We got to see Frankenstein survive the... Frankenstein's monster survive the burn. I always get... I think like everyone I get confused with that. You know Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster. But you know... The bride got destroyed, Frankenstein got destroyed, but in a good way. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this film. Uh, I'm going to watch the next film tonight, which is a surprise, obviously. Um, I think I think for, for once this is a film we all know. But I'm just going to wait until we get there. Okay? Um, I'll see you guys in the next review. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and I hope you all had a good Disney Plus day. Um... Hope you've all enjoyed yourselves this week. Hope you enjoyed this review. Remember to subscribe for more content, and I shall see you soon. Love you all to death.